Wow. Dan the man. Dan Canarium. How you doing? I'm doing good, brother. How you been? Great. Yeah. Great, great. So now you're from DePaul, Indiana, right, Dan? Half the year. Half, Half the, the year. year I'm in Lake City, Florida. Yeah, yeah. Well, let me tell you something, folks. Dan and I, we've met, we've been hunting together how many years now, Dan? 20. I was, well, with, yeah, with my dad, you've been hunting about 20 years with dad and yeah. I, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. Now, what is, if I was to ask Dan Canarium about hunting a dog, and I was to say, Dan, what is the biggest mistake you think young handlers make on training hounds? What would you say the number one thing most handlers miss out on? Not letting the dog teach them for one thing. Let them learn. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a new handler now. Now if it's a experienced handler, that it's just so many different things that it's hard to pick one. Right. You, every dog's different, and you got to train every dog different. Right. And you got to. It takes me several weeks to to figure out the dog what he needs to be worked on special and stuff, and and some things he's a natural at, and you. And you can only do one thing at a time mm -hmm. when you're teaching. One thing at a time. Right. And and I see people out there, that's that's the number one mistake, I guess. People trying to correct everything at one time. Yeah, I agree and, with you. And you can't do that. Well, and I'm going to tell you something. I feel like that when you attack too many things at one time, it's kind of like working a dog on a bench, which you are very familiar of. And I think, for y'all that don't know, Dan is also a licensed bench show judge. Am I correct? I'm a master hound, and PKC a master, master hound. hounds, bench show judge, and a PKC hunt director. There you go. I mean, so the man knows his dogs, and that, that's what's so important about this is that's why I want to sit down with Dan because if there's one thing I will say I've always respected about Dan and hunting with him for all these years with my daddy is his work ethic when it comes to training dogs. And what I mean by work ethic with his dogs is time spent in the woods. Your time spent in the woods is remarkable. I mean, you would average how many days a week? Everybody's always asking me, when, when do I go hunting? I said, only when it gets dark. Yeah, only when it gets dark. And that's the truth. You fell one night and shattered your collarbone yeah, by itself. It still broke. It still broke. <laughs> <laughs> two years later. Yeah, yeah, two years shattered later. Shattered my collar, uh, my rotor cup and broke my collarbone. And it's still there. <laughs> you still go. Yeah. So, and you hunt pretty much alone, don't you? Yeah, most of the time, yeah. yeah. I, I, I prefer that when I'm training because not everybody likes to do what I way I do it, and I've got to do it my way. Hey, we and, all have and, our ways. And, and, and if I'm buddy hunting and stuff, that's all right. i got a dog I can take for that. But my competition dogs don't go there. Right, right. You know, pleasure hunting. Right. Now, speaking of dogs, you got two really nice dogs right now. you got Bad Boy and you got Rat. Rat trap. Yeah, now the rat trap, really nice dog, and I've been able to hunt both of them. But now something I want to ask you about, and I'm really intrigued about this, is what is the differences between these two dogs? Because I know they're different. Not very much. Exactly. They're both awesome. They're cool, aren't they? They, I love both of them. Yeah. They are layup artists. Yeah. You can't get, that's one thing I won't have as a stud dog if he's not a layup dog, because they're breeding that out. Yeah. And a, another thing is, they're gonna have the meat, or they're not in my pen. Mm -hmm. And you can, well, just like Sundown Apollo. Yeah, Apollo. I, I mean, when when now, for when, those who don't know, uh, Dan, you raised Apollo. I did from a babe. From a from baby. Eight weeks old. Yeah, and you sold him at what age? A uh, year and a half. Year and a half old. He sold Apollo. And for y'all that don't, don't, don't know, Apollo is probably one of the most accomplished dogs in the history of the sport. Yeah, uh, he won the Autumn Oaks. I sold him and two weeks later he won the Autumn Oaks. Can you believe that, folks? <laughs> as a year old dog. As a year old, a year old. Now I remember when you were hunting him down in Florida as a baby. Yeah. And you were telling me then, you said, this dog's special. Yes, he was. He was special. And then you took him down there and won a hunt with him. He won, he won the Florida State show, only dog in history to win the Florida State show and the Florida State hunt. And he did do that because I was there. You beat me. <laughs> <laughs> he was awesome. He was great. He still is awesome. Yes. He still is awesome. Yes, I love Now, it. what would you say if there is a difference between the two dogs, what is the difference between the, Rat and, and Bad Boy? Between Rat and Bad Boy. Rat, 
is a proven reproducer. Every female I bred to, I get call after call saying four or five, six months old, treeing by themselves, going by themselves. Independent. And, and got to meet. Who's that? <laughs> that, that, is, <laughs> that is bad boy's sister. Yeah. And uh, Rat has never seen her. And Rat thinks he's got a new girlfriend. Oh. So he <laughs> Rat. says, hello, darling. Rat, heel, heel, Rat, heel. Come here. Come here, buddy. Come here. But All something right, I want to, something I really want to talk about is, uh, folks, this man, when I say he hunts, he doesn't just hunt. He goes and trains. And he gets out there. You spend time with your dogs. And it, I think time is the deal. I, I've made, I don't, I couldn't tell you how many dual grands. I right. mean, it's, it's a big number. Yeah. And, and I, I, I don't even remember half of them's names. Uh, it's been so many. But, I know, I've tried asking you a few times, and you're like, Jason? <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you. And, and I'm 67 years old, and, and, and my memory's getting not too good. And uh, my wife tells me that all the time. Yeah, Miss Paula, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Miss Paula. And uh, so after I make them dual grand, I'm ready to start on another one. Got bored. I'm, I'm getting bored. I, I, I done my job. They're, they're, they're what I wanted. Now, Rat, you granted him fast. Yeah, he's a year old. Year old. Granted. Granted out. Dual grand. Dual grand. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Yeah. Dual grand. Year old. Yeah. That's impressive. And, and boy, the same thing. Same thing with boy. Yeah. And what's boy's full name? Uh, Sundown's Bad Boy. Bad Boy won the Reserve World Champion AKC this year. That's right. And right now, with me being disabled vet and everything, I can't keep up with these youngsters at the at the big events. Cause when you, when you cut them loose, one dog goes straight, one dog goes left, one goes right, and one goes behind you, and it might be a mile when they all tree. And one night, like well, last year in in, in the uh, world zones. I, I, I know I walked, uh, or no, it was in the world hunt. World hunt. Yeah. I know I walked five miles and I was, I was bushed. Uh, but that's, I won't quit until yeah. my, my wife makes me have a, a phone that she can find me wherever I'm at in the woods. We got to stop falling off tailgates. <laughs> I know. She come that day too. She found me that way on. Yeah, I know your day. wife found you. <laughs> my mommy packed me. Your mama packed you. And now where are you originally from? Where'd you grow up? In Southern Indiana. Southern Indiana. Okay. Yeah. All right. And your mama got you on, on her back and towed you no, around. Yeah, she, she, she had me on her hip and then I'd walk for a while and she'd pack. I still remember that. So you had a raccoon yeah. coming at you. And I was, you know, a little toddler. <laughs> and, uh, and the dogs come right beside me. One of them knocked me down. <laughs> I still remember that. <laughs> I was, a, I, I could, that's something you can't forget. No. And, and then when I got older, you know, seven, eight, nine, if we could get our arms around that tree, we had to go up, we had shakeout season back then. Mm. If we got our arms around it, dad said go. And yeah. we did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now what do you think is the biggest difference in dogs from back then to now they're breeding uh the nose out and the layup dogs out and they're wanting dogs to go a mile and then put their nose down and i won't own one yeah uh that's not a coon dog that's a man-made dog mm -hmm. these dogs are naturals bad boy and rat trap total naturals i didn't it was so easy to train them so easy and their pups are doing the same thing, rat's pups. Mm -hmm. I've got straws on rat, and I got straws on bad boy. And bad boy right now is in uh, South Carolina with a young boy running after him. And What's this young man's name? I know he's hunting him for you right Justin now. Justin Allen. Justin Allen. And, okay. and Kevin Jackson. Okay. It, them two are working him. Okay, so Kevin and, Allen... And is, is the handler, is the handler. And, and Kevin Jackson's keeping him and, and keeping him in good health and Very nice and and, uh, and it, it broke my heart and my that's my wife's dog yeah she picked it out right here two years ago right <laughs> right over there or three years no right here three years ago three years ago yeah three years ago he's three now and uh, and she said that's the one and and I said okay and we took him and and she's she's 
really proud of him. Yeah. Looks and, like you are too. Yeah. I, <laughs> I, his mouth is ungodly. Yeah. And everybody I go hunting with, they ain't never heard him before. They'll say, oh my gosh. Yeah. You know. And he does. When he comes on a tree, he has a beautiful look. Oh gosh. A, a, a kid could call You're him. right. And that's why, you know. And then. And he rolls it over to a steady chop. Oh ah, yeah. He's yeah, every breath, yeah, every yeah. breath tree dog. Yeah. Yeah. And so is Rat. And, uh, but uh, they, he, he, he gives the same thing, a, a big ball locate, and, and you can call him on it. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. but uh, I, I'm really proud of both of them. Well, you should be. You've accomplished a lot. So, Bad Boy is this year, 2023's AKC Reserve World Champion. Yes, sir. Ah. So, what happened there? How many... As far as now, you finished. So you you were reserve world this year, and uh, you're who was handling for you there? Me. You were handling there. Good yeah. deal. Good deal. So it's you and your boy. <laughs> yeah, he, he he does a lot better for me, but he's starting to handle good for Justin. Yeah. And and Justin just loves that dog. Well, don't you think that's a lot because of how you hunt? And your style hunt, you hunt alone. They yeah, come one man right, dogs. Right. And I, yeah, and I hunt them solo mo mostly. And, and 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 I do. I don't never get them bored. Some people hunt them by themselves every night, or they got to be by themselves every night. Uh, they get bored. Yeah. And you got to switch it up every now and then, and, and, and keep them loving it, having fun. They got to have fun. All right. If they ain't having fun. You're not going to have fun because you right. ain't going to operate right. Yeah. You've you got to make it fun for the dogs. And and I'm a firm believer in that. And like boy and, and, and rat, when you first turn them loose, if they strike, they're going to be on that tree with how many other dogs? They don't care. Yeah. They're going to be there. But after that, they're going to go their own ways. And, and if another dog comes with them and trees with them, that's okay. They don't care. Right. But they're going to treat first. Yeah. yeah, and they're very independent. Yeah. They're, they're all about getting the job done. Yeah, and and and, and these dogs that they are that that was natural. Yeah. And these dogs that they man make like that, a lot of times they get a little rough. Yeah. At the trees, and they and and some people like that, but I despise it. Yeah. Well, I agree with you there. I don't think that there's any room for a mean dog. Period. No. Uh, we're, we're at a competition hunt. We're yeah, expected we're to be fun. gentlemen. Well, competition the way I look at hunt it, should be fun. Well, yes, and we're expected to hold ourselves up to a respectable person and treat each other respectfully. Well, our dogs should do the same thing on the tree yeah. or while they're hunting. Yeah. You know, it, it's common sense, but some folks, you know, they like pushing the envelope, and that's I all know. right. I know, and that's they right. say, well, if nothing trees with him, they can't get no points. I can't so. get in trouble if nothing yeah. trees with him. But eventually, <laughs> eventually, you it'll catch up with it'll you. It'll catch up with and, you. And, and, and everybody that knows me, I I've never owned one like that. I've never known you to have one. And and all my dogs are will let anything tree with them. And, now they won't tree with another dog if they're already tree. They'll go and get their own. Mm -hmm. But if if they tree first, they don't care how many dogs come to tree. Now, wouldn't you say that's an advantage? Huh? Would you not say that's a great advantage? That's just the way I teach my dogs. I like it because I'm gonna tell you something, folks. There's a lot of dogs when you're in hunts, and this is not to bash anyone's dogs. There's a lot of dogs, and Dan to back me up on this. I'm about 100 percent. Cut them loose. Every dog leaves there barking. Yeah. All of a sudden, next thing you know, that fella didn't tell you there was a feeder 50 yards down there. Yeah. All them dogs will load up on that feeder, but sometime that raccoon's been eating there, and a dog like yours will surpass them dogs, go right past them next so thing So many you know. times. Well, go ahead. Rat, boy doesn't do it so much, but rat, if a dog's treed close to him, he'll go check it out. Yeah. And if they ain't got it, He's gonna go tree that. He ain't gonna stay there if they got it. Yeah. But he he's wanting to check. He gonna see find if they, that raccoon. He he's wanting to check see if they're lying. Right. right. <laughs> and if they are, sorry about your luck. He's gonna have that meat. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna slip out and go find him. Yeah. He, he and he and he's so sneaky. He won't say a word for a hundred yards until he gets away from that tree, and then then, then he'll, he'll open up and do yeah. his thing. <laughs> yeah. 
I tell you what, that's cool dog to have. That's fun. Well, Dan, I tell you one thing. I, I sure respect you for the hounds that you have. I Thank respect you. your training. Uh, I've been, I've, I have hunted with this man quite a bit. We've hunted together quite a bit. And believe it or not, we train a lot alike. He hunts alone. I like hunting my dogs alone. Dan will cut one way and I'll cut the opposite way. And if our dogs start coming together. Sorry about their luck. Sorry about their luck. They got to go the other way. Yeah. And you know, but I, I will say one thing about Dan Canary and his defense of anything. If anybody ever doubts Dan about one thing, do not ever doubt this man when it comes to training a coon hound. He knows a coon hound as good as any man in the business. And I mean that from the center of my and heart. You're, you're a damn good One thing I, I, I believe in, too, is being a man of your word. Yes, sir. And today, that doesn't mean much. And it breaks my heart that people are like that now. Yeah. And, and back in the day, my hand shook was good as any written paper or yeah. anything. And yeah. that's the way, way, way it is. And, and and I won't put nobody down for the way they're acting, but it's just not the same. It's different. Times are changing. And uh, and I think it needs to go back. I wish it would. You know, there needs more of this. People need to sit down. I'm going to tell you a funny, funny story. Dan and I have not always gotten along. We've no. had our differences. But at the end of the day, we're still grown men. And we sit down and we talk and we laugh. We have fun. Because there's no room for hatred here. No. We're in the same sport, folks. We're true competitors. I want to beat him just as bad as he wants to beat me. <laughs> and at the end of the night, we might can't stand each other. But the next day, we'll have coffee and we'll sit there and we'll yeah. eat, eat breakfast together. Some people say that's being a, some people say, oh, that's, that's being hypocritical. No, it's not. That's being an adult and knowing, hey, man, you're yeah. competitive. Yeah. I am too. And I just want to beat you. <laughs> that's all it is to it. But at the end of the day, we walk around right with a handshake. Yeah. You know, and you've never, ever done me wrong. When, when we've had our disagreements, we've always come back together and Dan yeah. says, look, man, I messed up. And I'll say, man, I messed up. And we've all shook hands. And this guy's a hell of a dog trainer. And I hope y'all really get to sit down with Dan one day and pick his brain. Because if you want to learn about training a dog, he's one of the few I'll recommend. And I promise you, Dan Canary, you do a great job. Thank you, sir. And it's an honor to sit down with him. DePaul, Indiana's own Dan Canary. I'm proud of him. He's got some nice dogs. Y'all need to come to Autumn Oaks. We are sitting here. Dan's right next to the main building. He's got both of his dogs tied out here. Come by, check out Sundown Kennels. Dan Canary, we're sitting here waiting on you. Thank you. God bless you, brother. All right.